Temac. She joins us from McAllen, Texas, right near the border there. Uh, Congresswoman, let me let me first ask you about these personal tragedies. I, I mean, how can you look at four and five year olds being dropped over the border fence, left to their own defenses in, in hostile country, kids wandering in the desert? Uh, who've been left behind, another child whose father was, was drowned to death and, and now is alone in this country. How can you not call that a humanitarian crisis? Well, well you just can't. And it's unconscionable what I have seen here in the last 48 hours here on our southwest border. You know, the fact that this administration refuses to call what is happening here a humanitarian crisis, a national security crisis, I just simply don't have the words. I visited the Donna facility yesterday and I saw young children, three, five, six and older, and they have been abandoned, essentially. It, it is unconscionable. I spoke with a girl who came here from Guatemala. It took her 17 days to get here. And when she was having trouble communicating, her voice was so hoarse. I asked the agent why, and it was because she had lost her voice screaming because she had been gang raped. This was a 14 year old girl. It is horrible. It, it is it is unconscionable. And in America today, if you are a cartel member, it's a great day in America because you are making so much money off of the, the backs of these children. And if you're six years old and younger, you are being trafficked back and forth across this border. I have zero faith in this administration. The lack of action that they have taken, I cannot in good conscience call President Biden commander-in-chief he is the trafficker in chief at this point well the 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 actions some of the actions that they actually have taken have been uh puzzling if not worrisome as well like for example yes. when ted cruz was trying to to photograph the facility inside we saw the minder come by and try to prevent a u.s yes. senator who was there to try to fix things or try to help things in any way he could uh getting pushed away from from taking pictures of what was really going on there. Did you did you encounter any of that when you were in the facilities? So we went through all the facilities. We also visited Top, which is an actual bridge where underneath, outside, they have set up construction barriers to process folks. And they've asked us, if you take photos, please don't post them. And as I was speaking with the Border Patrol agents, a group of unaccompanied minors walked up to us out of the brush. It was unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. Right there on the border, they just walked up to us and they knew that they would be processed. Yeah. And what we are seeing here is just unreal. The American people need to see what's happening inside of these facilities. Facilities that are completely overrun, meant to house maybe 200. They're housing 5,000. Yesterday was another break, record-breaking day. Yeah. They picked up over 3,000 that just wow. came across. But the, the thing that was ter terribly heartbreaking to me was last night, it was about midnight, I was standing on the... the the banks of the Rio Grande and River, and I had night vision goggles looking across, and the cartels were dropping people off, pointing, and you can see them in the night vision. They're pointing, saying, go across here, the Border Patrol agents will pick you up, they'll process you. But they were, they were basically harassing us, calling us names, making jokes, saying, you can't right. do anything. And it's true, because this administration has tied the hands of our men and women in uniform trying to protect our borders. Well, and, and they have also, I mean, the empowerment of these cartels, these heartless cartels, the ones who are dropping off kids in the desert, uh, has to be dealt with somehow. Congresswoman, uh, we're going to have to yes. ask you uh, the next time about uh, whether or not they're going to be finishing up some of those wall walls that are being broken through. But we appreciate uh, you joining us today. Thank you very much.